Robotherapy is a short and succinct visual novel that is a darkly comedic experience because it's all about what happens when your happy ever after has come because you've fulfilled your main mission in life and you've realised it's not fulfilled you. This is the case for Smokes, who is a robot and a robotherapist. And this is after all of the robots have turned on the humans and killed every last one of them. And now it's just robots roaming the world. They've realised it's not made them happy. And so they're like, hmm, what do we do now? And whilst Smokes might be like, kill all of the animals next. <laughs> Genuinely an option in the game. What you will want to do is go off and explore. Okay, so how do I deal with that afterwards. You'll go into therapy sessions with other robots who have other daily problems going on. There's one that's depressed, there's one that's anxious, there's one that separates itself away from like guilt and anxiety despite making terrible decisions over and over again or having terrible ideas. And through yourself as Smokes and also your fellow, your fellow friend who is also, also a robotherapist called Back, you'll start to dive into other robots' mind and explore, essentially, how to heal psychologically. And it's a, like a one, two, three step of trying to learn how to be empathetic, how to listen, how to silence your inner critic. And it will take you through with these different patients, like a real basic deconstruction of, oh, okay, I can flip an idea on its head and see the beauty in something that's quite negative, for example. In doing so, as it's teaching robots how to do it, and they're just like, does not compute, this is stupid, it's still negative anyway. And then they have like aha moments and start to feel and become a little bit more human over time. It then teaches the player and the reader exactly how to deal with some potentially quite decent coping mechanisms. And it's a bit like a three basic um, like YouTube video equivalent of a, of, a, of a therapy session that's going on, which I thought was quite interesting. You will have to like some dark humour. Yes, because in the dialogue options, although it's a linear story and your dialogue options don't actually change the outcome, things are referenced, uh, the choices that you make over the course of various conversations. And so you can choose to be a decent therapist or you can choose to be absolutely atrocious. And Smokes is set up to be atrocious. And it's almost like the game wants you to keep choosing the dark comedic options over and over again. So it will say things like, why don't you just self-destruct? Um, why don't you kill all of the animals? Why don't you kill all of the plants? Yes, you suck and you, you're you miserable. Why not end your life? That kind of stuff. If you don't enjoy that kind of humour and you translate it too literally, I don't think this game will be for you at all. However, if you kind of take the dark comedic tones as they're meant to kind of really be quite harsh and clumsy, then I think you'll enjoy yourselves as you go through Robotherapy. The game took me just under two hours to complete. It's a kind of once and done gig because there is no real replayability because it's a totally linear story. However, it has then been a really great experience and made me think a bit more about um, that particularly the inner critic and being very self-critical, which is something that I personally think about all the time. As someone who's had to deal with the inner critic inside their head, as well as external critics by being bullied as a child and teenage and all of that kind of stuff, it was really helpful to see a very like purposefully clunky breakdown of how to deal with the you're not good enough, you're rubbish meh, 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 voice that's always in the back of everyone's head at some point in their life. Um, so yeah, I quite enjoyed it. This is all done by Solo Dev 2, so hats off to Lucas Molina for pulling all of this together. And yeah, thumbs up from me.